as you guys all know, we're always speculating on uh, timing of rapture. We're always speculating on anti-Christ uh, figures. And so I figured I'd just bring you some speculation here. And uh, this is a few pictures that was brought to me through uh, Janie Duvall's channel. And she interviewed Craig uh, Bong. And uh, there's really interesting pictures here. But I, I went a step further. And like what I found was like really thought-provoking. So here it is, okay? So we've got this thing. I think this is called the fleur de fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. It's like a. It almost looks like a crown uh, above King Charles's head in the World Economic Forum of 2020 in January. And so uh, behind him, there was actually a total of 66 of these things, 65 small white ones and one big one at the top. So there was a total of 66 of these things that look like crowns. Now. In addition to this, there are essentially six lines per stem. And so that means there's 18 lines or feathers per per stem. So there's six, 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 but then there's 18 in total. So if you do the math, there is a total of, uh, if you do 66 times 18, that's how many you know crowns there are here. That's a total of 1188, 1,188 um, stems standing behind King Charles. Okay, what does 1,188 mean in Strong's Greek? I mean, that's pretty interesting. It means right hand. Okay, it means right hand. And what do we read in Revelation uh, 13, verse 16? He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on the right hand or on the forehead so let me get this straight uh there is 1188 strokes behind king charles and that number in greek means the right hand which is in the mark of the beast uh verse okay well what does the hebrew 1188 mean well it's a place called Baal parazem it's the place where king david uh, destroyed the altar of Baal Par Parazim. And essentially Baal, the god of Baal, is the exact opposite of uh, of God. And that's, uh, you know, for example, 1 Kings 18, when Elijah went to battle with the five, 450 um, prophets of Baal, it was basically the enemy of God in a way, in a spiritual sense. So King David in 2 Samuel 5, verse 20, 20, for example, so David came to Baal Perazim and he defeated them there. And he said, uh, the Lord has broken through my enemies before them, before me, sorry, like a breakthrough of water. So he named the place Baal Perazim, master of breakthroughs. The Philistines abandoned their pagan idols. So this is where they basically worshipped their pagan idols at Baal Perazim. And again, that's H1188. It's like the anti-God, essentially. Now let's go back to Revelation 13. So, uh, we'll read the verse before it. Verse 15 and 16. He was granted power to give breath of, to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. So, there's worshiping of an image in Revelation 13, 15. And Baal Perazan, Perazim, I should say, which is H1188, is where they would worship idols. And that's associated with Revelation 13, 15, because there's a worship of idol, an image of the beast. And then the next one talks about the right hand. And so this World Economic Forum, which, you know, you see the circles that basically look like a 666 in that picture, in the logo of World Economic Forum. You've got this association with the number of strokes behind King Charles, um, adding up to 1188, the right hand in Greek and basically ball in Hebrew. I mean, this is quite something. For me, wow, this character has become a very fantastic candidate. Now, the more you look into it, it's like, man, this guy, this guy looks very interesting. And so uh, are, are we certain that he is the guy? I'm not quite sure, but wow, the numbers here are fantastic. It's so, so incredible. You can't, I know this is cliche, but you can't make this up. So uh, food for thought, let me know what you think. Go Jesus, go one day closer. If this guy's the guy, I mean, we're out of here soon. So that's it. Okay. Take it easy. Bye.